now that we've uploaded our data and gotten the positioning information in there, let's go ahead and create the dynamic or the positioning scattergram. Just like before, we're going to break this into two videos, first showing you how to make the basic one and then how to add extra graphics. So let's jump into how to make the basic scattergram and what that really shows you. We have uploaded our positioning search and now we're ready to create a positioning scattergram. Now, if you're not on here, we're going to go ahead and click position and bring us right here to the active data sheet. In the active data sheet, what we're going to go ahead and do is click the create graph options and go ahead and click create scattergram graph. I'm going to click nothing else, but just let it go ahead and do its job and make our graph for us. Now you can see here, the green are properties that are still for sale. The yellow are properties that are under contract, and this is in our area, in our price range. Now, we went ahead and made our scattergram, and we can see some pretty awesome things. Now, when this comes down to it, the question we have to ask ourselves is, how do we position to be best competitive? How do we position to win? Now, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and look at our area. Now, let's, the property we're using is 2,700 square feet. So you can see 2,700 square feet, there's a lot of properties that are currently for sale here, okay? Now, if we're thinking about the properties that are currently for sale, we can see some down here in the 420s, one here in the 430 range, and then some up here in the 450. Now, the question we have to ask ourselves is where do we want to price our home and how do we position ourselves to win? How do we put ourselves in a comp competitive advantage standpoint that really kind of gives us that win? Now. One of the easiest ways to do this is to look at those properties that are around that square footage and see what makes those properties tick. What makes them special, what brings their value down or up, and which ones match with us the best. Now to do that, we, go, we would look at the MLS sheets. Now I'm not going to show you the MLS sheets in this video. What I'm going to go ahead and tell you is we basically are very similar to this property here. Now the question now becomes, how do we position against this property at 430 to win? show don't tell. So in the next video I'm going to show you how to add a subject property to really be able to see very clearly what you're comparing against.